This is the original F87 BMW M2 and this car is very important mainly because it's what M3s used to be like and what the new M3 at the time should have been. Small, lightweight, excellent driving dynamics and fast are all qualities classic M3 owners are familiar with and will find once again in this car. This is a first model year car, a 2016 pre-facelift example with the supercar-like DCT gearbox. This car's not yet even done 15,000 kilometres and I absolutely love driving it, whether it's to work, for a cruise up and down the coast, or for something a little more spirited. It drives exactly as you'd expect or want a mid-2000s M car to drive. A perfectly well-connected, communicative chassis, stiff suspension, although sometimes a little bit bouncy, excellent throttle control, excellent steering. Yes, it's got electric power steering, which people criticised when it first started becoming mainstream in cars, but if it was as good as it is in this car from the start, no one would have ever complained. Of course, I have also driven the S55 powered version of the F87 car too, that came in the competition models. Sure, it's slightly more powerful, but overall it's not better than this car. It's not worse, but it's not better. The N55 sounds much nicer. The S55 kind of just sounds like an over-engineered fart. I agree with the general population that the body styling of the competition models is more angular and more aggressive, but I feel it's ruined, particularly at the rear end, by the nappy diaper-looking rear muffler that hangs below the rear bumper. It's a real eyesore. The S55 models are also 20, 30, 40 grand more expensive than this one for what is essentially the exact same car. In my subjective, completely biased opinion, this car is the one to have. A pre-facelift N55 M2 with low kilometers like this one. It's the best value M car on the market today, new or used. It's just old enough to still have a little bit of that old school style driving engagement, but just new enough that if you look hard, you can find one with low kilometers in basically brand new condition. It also happens to be one of the most fun. A fantastic example of what an M car is supposed to be, the M2 is a great entry into the world of BMW's performance cars and what they're all about. I don't think this car could be any better. Oh, hang on, unless... Unless the new G87 M2 is anything like the old one. The G87 has moved to the fully aggressive side of its M2 personality. Gone are the curvy, elegant body shapes, instead replaced by sharp, angular lines, tight edges, a boxy shape that pays homage to M cars of the 80s and 90s. And, most importantly, it's not ugly. No huge grills here, thank goodness. It looks very different to the F87, there's no question about that. And like pretty much every new BMW that gets announced nowadays, I saw the pre-production press photos and thought, what have they done? But now that it's here, in person, I promise you, it does look good. BMW must just have this profound ability to make their cars look as shocking as possible in press photos, I guess in an effort to desensitise us to the idea that a new design is coming. 
But then when the car does arrive and we get to lay our own eyes on it, we can breathe a cautious, skeptical, but sustained sigh of relief. Oh, and did I mention this one's manual? Another sigh of relief can be released when you get into the G87 and drive it. It builds upon the foundation of the original car, but does so in a better way than previous facelifted versions of the F87. Instead of taking the car, slapping a more powerful engine in it and making the chassis and suspension even stiffer than they already were, the dynamics of this new car and the way it handles and rides has been completely reworked. It's more comfortable, but still just as communicative and fun. It's better. This is a brand new car, so the engine is technically still in its wear-in period. So I won't use more than half throttle or go more than halfway up the revs. I can't rev it out as much as I can the old car. A huge thank you to Alex though, the owner of this M2, for letting us use it. Another important reason why the M2 is special and why this new G87 is so important is because it's going to be the last petrol only powered M car we will ever see. The Mercedes C63 AMG, renowned for its aggressive theatrical V8, is now a turbo four cylinder. In Japan, the mighty Honda NSX is now a hybrid. The same thing is about to happen to our beloved M cars. And while those cars are still fast and fun, they're fun for a different reason. And anyone who's driven them will know that they're missing something that could be found in their predecessors. Tune in next week when we take an in-depth look into the process of protecting this new M2 with Expel Stealth paint protection film and Matthias walking us through the installation. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.